Wire rope should be carefully inspected for deterioration, especially around end connections and anywhere the lines run over shivs or drums. By lubricating the wire rope and inspecting all surfaces these hoist lines can come in contact with, you can help extend its working life. As you get ready to start the crane up, make sure all controls are in the neutral position. Look around to see that the area is clear of all obstructions, including helicopters and personnel. After starting the prime mover, let it idle for several minutes to warm up. This is especially important in cold weather operation. Check the tachometer, coolant temperature, and oil pressure gauges to make sure the engine is running trouble free. It is especially important to check all components of the crane prior to making a lift. Make sure the control levers work freely with no sticking or binding. Listening for any unusual noises, operate all of the functions of the crane, including turning the winches, swinging the upper, telescoping the boom, and fully cycling all cylinders. If you hear any unusual noises from the hydraulic system or pump, immediately shut down. A condition such as a cavitating pump can be dangerous and cause serious damage to the pump and other crane components. Once you begin lifting a load, keep a keen eye on the hydraulic pressure gauges. Make sure that they are operating within the specified ranges recommended by the crane's manufacturer. Never exceed these ranges as it could cause overloading of the crane or one of its components. The importance of watching the instrument panel cannot be overemphasized. If any gauge indicates a problem, shut the machine down immediately and take corrective action.